It was game seven of the series that started the Ben Simmons saga in Philadelphia. Simmons remains out of the Sixers lineup as he is mentally unable to play. And Simmons was at Philadelphia's shoot-around yesterday ahead of their win versus the Pistons. The Sixers, though, are three and two without him. So for more on Ben Simmons, we're joined now by ESPN NBA reporter Tim Bontemps. Tim, Simmons was at shoot-around yesterday. Are we any closer to seeing him return to action on the court? No, Malik, I don't think we are. You know, he obviously was a shoot around, like you said, yesterday, and he was at the facility the past few days before that as Philadelphia was in Oklahoma City and then in New York for games against the Thunder and the Knicks earlier this week. But as of now, Ben Simmons is still out indefinitely for personal reasons, and it seems like that's going to be the case going forward. Now, as you said, the Sixers are playing the Atlanta Hawks tomorrow. It would be rather incredible if Ben Simmons was making his debut this season in that game, given that this all started, like you said, when he passed up that dunk with three and a half minutes to go in game seven against the Hawks and Philadelphia ultimately wanted to lose that game and the series. But for as juicy of a storyline as that would be, I don't think we're going to get it tomorrow. And we're still in sort of a holding pattern waiting to see when or if Ben Simmons is going to be back on the court with his teammates. Okay, interesting. So Joel Embiid, he has been hobbled since the opener, but did go for 30 and 18 last night. How is his knee feeling today? I mean, look, Malika, this is kind of an annual thing with Joel Embiid, right? He tends to be questionable and a game-time decision for a lot of games. And that's been the case for each of the past four games Philadelphia has played. Ever since the opening quarter of the season in New Orleans, when he banged into Jonas Valanciunas' knee. Now, you see on this play here, when he drove to the rim and did that pump fake and dunk last night, he grimaced coming back down the court. And he's talked at times about how this is something he's going to have to play through. Now, obviously, with Ben Simmons already out, Philadelphia needs Joel Embiid playing at an MVP level like he was against the Pistons for them to win games. But as Joel himself said last night, you know, if they're struggling to beat a team like the Pistons, they're going to have a lot of trouble beating teams like the Knicks, who obviously blew them out the other day, and a team like the Hawks, who they're trying to compete with in the playoff pr picture tomorrow at home. So this is something they're going to have to monitor going forward, and his health is obviously critical to their chances of trying to survive without Ben. Absolutely. Early days, but they need to be playing the long game here. Tim, thank you so much for joining us. The Sixers host the Hawks tomorrow. So here are the Eastern standings through the first 10 days of the season. Some surprising teams, the top early on, the Knicks, the Hornets, the Bulls, the Wizards. Perk, you wanted to talk about the Wizards? Just all, with one loss for all of them. And teams like the Sixers and Nets outside of the top eight. Mm. What, what, what makes you guys think of that? What, what, what do you think? Look at the top three, Knicks, Hornets, and Bulls. And I love that you can improve in the offseason, really work individually as a player, but collectively get good pieces. That surprises me. But in a good way, tears of joy, right? You, you know what I like about it is that all these teams, right, when you look at a team like the Wizards and you look like look at a team like the Cavaliers, nobody talked about them, including myself, right? And the Wizards, they have a team. Mm -hmm. They have a team and they playing with passion. And a lot of them playing with a chip on their shoulder. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.